today we'll show you how to make French kimchi. This recipe is our own rendition, so there's no fermentation needed. It is healthy, it's quick, and it's easy. So after making the kimchi, we'll make a dish out of it. We'll make uh, sausage kimchi fried rice with egg. Okay, so for the kimchi, we have the following ingredients. Radish, carrots, onion leeks, salt, napa cabbage, apple, ginger, onion, garlic, sugar, glutinous powder, red pepper powder, and the patties. Let's make the kimchi! Listen plus. To pull the water out from the cabbage, season it with rock salt for an hour or two. Make sure to cover it and mix it well. First impression. To make the spice mix, first blend the apple, ginger, onion, garlic, and then add the fish sauce and the sugar, then blitz it. This recipe is our own rendition. It is Korean style kimchi. Meanwhile, add the flour and water, bring this to a simmer, Mix it well till it thickens. This will help with the consistency of the kimchi. And now it's time to blend all the components together. The blended spices, the thickened rice flour, and the Korean chili. Mix it well. After an hour or two, the nappy cabbage will shrink like this. It's time to rinse out the salt. So wash it with water for a couple of times in batches to rinse out the salt. Fermentation is an old preservation method where salt is added to the ingredient to increase its shelf life. Kimchi is healthy because of the lactic acid bacteria it has. It will improve digestion and your immune system. And now, it's time to rub the nappy cabbage with the spice mixture. Make sure every leaf is covered with the spices. Add the rest of the ingredients, the carrots, the labanos, and the onion leeks. Then do the same thing, rub it generously with the spice mixture. You could eat this right away or place it in the chiller. It will probably last for three to four weeks. If you want to ferment this, place it in a jar for a minimum of two weeks. It will improve and intensify its taste as it goes by. There you have it, our own version of kimchi. It's easy and it's healthy. You could easily do this at home. So here we have it, our own version of fresh kimchi. Uh, this is our own recipe. Should you wish to ferment this, put this put it in a jar. You could keep it for a week or two at room temperature. So this is easy to make at pwede siyang pang negosyo. So we're gonna be using this kimchi for a dish later, which is gonna be the sausage kimchi fried rice with egg. Okay, so let's try it. Let's try it. It's a little sweet. Spicy. And sour. I, so after making the fresh kimchi, now we'll be having the Hungarian sausage kimchi fried rice with egg. This recipe is our own rendition. And um, here we are for the ingredients. We have samyang or soybean paste. And then we have the Hungarian sausage with cheese, kimchi, onion leeks, two eggs, shiitake mushroom, white rice, garlic, and onions. It's a blast. Enjoy. Start cooking. What we're going to do is we're going to sweat out the oil from the sausage. Again, we're going to get the Soybeans, this will make it a little sweeter and healthier. 
one thing to do. Next, we're going to be adding the white rice. Our main ingredient, the fresh kimchi. And then we'll add the onion. That's good. There we have it. Sausage kimchi fried rice. Spicy with a, with a hint of sweetness. Really good. Yeah, it's really good. You could also try this with pasta instead of rice. You can do the same process of cooking. It's good. For any comments, suggestions, and requests for recipes that you would want us to feature on our blog, please leave a message down below. Like and share our Facebook page. Follow and subscribe our YouTube channel at Prima Deli Blog. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get the latest updates for the upcoming dishes. Drinks and travels of Team